Hey everyone, all right. Today I want to share a little bit of why the bad shit happens in our life. Like, what does it mean? And here's what I've learned. Like, I often ask the question, why did I have to go through the hard times? And for me, the hard times were um, work-wise, like, I had a great job. Why did I decide to go on this entrepreneurial entrepreneurial journey? Why did I have to go through so much pain, heartache, and loss? Like, why? And here is the answer. The simple answer, as I understand it now through my spiritual journey, is because we have to find balance in yin and yang. We need to find our chi. Therefore, when with hard, so hard is yang, it's very action oriented and it's like go, go, go. With that yang, the only way you can find yin is by knowing what's hard first. How are you going to know what's easy if you haven't done hard yet? And I know that like, it sounds like, okay, yeah, sure, I get that, but you can get it as much as you want. It's not until you've been through the heartache and the pain. It's not until you really want easy. I know I stumbled upon the concept of, you know, life should be easy. Life is not meant to be hard. We are... Um, our subconscious mind is programmed in order, like we think hard is honor. The more you do in society, the more you do, people feel validated. You get rewarded if you're go, go, go and you hustle. That's, it. That's all reward. In actuality, when you go through all of that, I've done it all. I've been through the whole entrepreneurial journey now. And what I started asking about three and a half, four years ago was, give me easy. I now want downhill. As Abraham Hicks says, you don't need to go through the uphill battle like fish swimming upstream. We're like fish swimming upstream. We feel like we, feel like we have to do this in life. Whereas no, life is meant to be with ease, with joy, with softness. We are entitled in this life and it's our birthright to go on the, the downhill, the downwards battle. But what happens is you have to go up stream in order to go through the hard. It's like having a super hard workout. You know when you're doing it, you just like, you kind of want to quit because it is so tough. But then when you start seeing your body it's becoming leaner, you start to see the results when you're yin. So when you're not doing that activity or when you go to a yoga class and you look in the mirror and you look at your body, when you're doing something yin, you appreciate it. And that's kind of how yin and yang work. And that's what I've just come to realize that you have to do hard in order to receive respect it, pay your respect to hard, trust me. You don't want to do hard and then just um, let it roll off your shoulder. You want to appreciate hard. You want to say thank you to hard and then you can honor ease. And I think that this is how like people go through their life. They kind of understand this concept, but realistically, if you haven't been through it, it's, it's, it's like anything else in life, then you really don't understand it. So that's what the conclusion is. I had to go through the hardships of entrepreneurship, doing things that I really didn't want to do, but I did them because I felt like I had to do something. I'm an entrepreneur and I had to start something. I went through all that hardship for seven years and now finally I have found my ease because for the last three or four years I've asked for ease, for the energy of yin um, 
and I'm finally doing what I love, which is teaching, which is here on YouTube. I'm sharing my stories, also what I love to do. This is yin for me. This is ease. And I'm telling you, I'm only at 291 followers, but the growth that I've had in the last little bit has been a lot since I started the channel. And I used to only vlog. I never, or blog, I would never um, give respect to this type of teaching that I did on YouTube. In the past, I would only blog or vlog if I had nothing better to do. If I had free time, then I would share my experiences. And because I didn't think that there was value in it. So inadvertently, I wasn't giving my experiences any value either. I wasn't giving what was yin inside of me, what I enjoyed, any value. But you know what I was doing on the other end? I was working my ass off. I was working my ass off hustling, getting retail gigs, doing Amazon, sales funnel, click funnels. I was hustling on that side, so YouTube, because it was easy for me, I wasn't giving it the respect and the value that it deserved. Now, for the last month that I've given it respect and the value that it deserves because my experience means something and I'm helping other people, I can't believe I'm like gaining followers. I'm wake a lot the couple mornings ago I woke up to four new followers and for me that was a big deal. That's what yin does. That's a true example of yin in action. So you need a balance of yin and yang. That's why you have to go through the hard in order to get the easy. You have to suffer and you have to recognize pain in order to recognize peace and to truly be at peace. That's why yin and yang always keeps going. It's in like full motion all the time. It has to keep circulating. The minute you get stuck in one, you're out of balance. You can't have too much yin, you can't have too much yang. It's gotta always keep circulating. And yin, circle, yin energy is a clockwise circle. Yang energy is counterclockwise. So you see it's always moving, always. Love you guys, bye.